What's up everyone, Jason Turley here, back with another video. Welcome to 2024, we made it, it's a new year, and a lot of you might be wanting to tackle some New Year's resolutions, with some of those being getting into cybersecurity or getting into capture the flag challenges. And in today's video, I'm gonna showcase a couple resources that I've utilized since I started in 2019, 2020, as well as some websites that you can log into and create free accounts to start solving capture the flag challenges today. So to get started, I'm a big fan and a big proponent of Capture the Flag 101. So you can't actually, which is a great resource that it explains what Capture the Flags are, and then it breaks down the different subcategories. So showcased here is what is known as a Jeopardy style CTF, a Jeopardy style Capture the Flag. And it's named that because there's different categories such as computer forensics, cryptography, web exploitation, reverse engineering, or binary exploitation. And in these different categories, there's going to be various puzzles or challenges where you need to find some type of solution and find a flag with the easier categories being worth less points and the more difficult ones being worth more points, just like a game of Jeopardy. And then the other style of capture the flag that we're not going to talk about too much in this video are the boot to root challenges or the pen testing style challenges where you're just giving an IP address and then you're tasked to go and scan it, enumerate it, figure out what's running on there. Is there any vulnerabilities? Is there any way you can exploit it? Perhaps get a web shell or a reverse shell. Start out as some low privileged user get their flag and then escalate your privileges to the root or the admin user. So those are your typical try hack me's and hack the box and whatnot. Great resources in their own right, but today we're gonna to focus on exclusively the Jeopardy style and how to get started with those. So on CTF 101, they have all the categories listed here and then you can just click and peruse. So if you want to learn more about, I don't know, binary exploitation and what all that entails, they have a whole uh, article and blog and write up on different things about binary exploitation and how it applies to CTF specifically. They have information about the registers and the stack and different calling conventions and buffer overflows, which is a very popular uh, CTF exploit. And we just showcased this recently in our uh, pwnable.kr videos, if you're keeping up with that mini series I have going on. So if you're new to this and you don't understand any of it, I think CTF 101 is a great way, a great resource. And I still reference it from time to time if I just need a quick blurb about what SQL injection is or just the different categories of forensics. So it is a good roadmap, a good tool to have in your toolkit. However, there's no way to actually solve any challenges on this website. It's more just an information resource. So if you do want a website that also has informative resources, but it also has hands-on challenges that you can solve, then look no further than Pico CTF. I've been screaming their names, shouting their praises uh, for years now. I really do love them. They're hosted by Carnegie Mellon University, which is one of the top computer science programs in the nation or in the U.S., rather. So if you go to picoctf.org, you can see up here the different menus they have. They have a section on getting started, as well as this like drop down menu for learning, and they link to different resources. They have their Discord community, where you can hop in and chat and ask questions and engage in intellectual discussions with other participants. So let's click here, go to learn, and then resources. And that will bring us here. They do have a monthly YouTube lecture series that goes over the different cybersecurity principles. I personally have not had the time or I guess the, the willpower to go through all of these yet. But what I have gone through is down here, these different learning guides. So just like CTF 101, they break it up into different categories here with the general skills, just good foundation, just good foundational skills any security professional might need, as well as cryptography, web, forensics, uh, binary exploitation, and reverse engineering. And you can expand on these as well. And they're just nice PDFs that you can go through and you can peruse and you can print these out if you want. They give you different commands to run, different um, syntax. So very beginner friendly, in my opinion, very well organized. But if that isn't enough, they also have, how can I find it? They have links to other resources here. But what I really like, and I need to sit down and just go through it entirely, is their primer. So go to learn and then primer. 
and it takes you to this like ebook essentially you can see the table of contents here on the left hand side and it just has massive massive amounts of information on you know what what is a shell we keep talking about shells but what actually is it forensics programming in python so even if you don't want to do ctfs but you just want to up your python game they have a whole section here on how to get started in python programming uh, different tools and more resources and commands and examples that you can follow along but yeah they break it out really well web uh, cryptography network sniffing packet captures right very pretty very colorful a little bit more user friendly than those pdfs that we saw earlier that were kind of dry and written in like times new roman text so this is a lot more uh, i think beginner friendly and just appealing to the eye yeah this is really good stuff i haven't gone through it in its entirety but i have gone through the binary exploitation section at least and i enjoyed those demos but i need to make time to go through the rest of these i do need to up my git game and like my version control so i'm getting a little uh, sidetracked so yeah, so that's their resource side and their learning side, but they also have like a practice and a competition side. So if you click here on practice, you can go to the Pico Gym. They also have an event coming up in, let's see, in March of this year, March, 2024. That's their live annual event. And practically anyone is eligible. So if you want to get started, now is a great time as any, but let's go to this Pico Gym, which is their always online practice event so this is where you go to get different reps and sets and just like work out and try different categories and areas you see i've already solved a lot of these some of which i have videos on and then you can filter by the different categories right now it's filtered by all but if we only want to do reverse engineering we can do filter on that and if we only want to do from a specific event they've had and you can see they've had several events in the past you can filter there okay that was a horrible one to choose because they don't have any in that one but we can see the different ones for pico ctf 2023 at least their most recent one of last year so you can click here it'll give you a description it'll tell you what category this is so general skills these little tags also kind of serve as hints these are the tools that you might use and they usually have hints as well this one doesn't have any hints let's try to find one that might have some hints yeah so you can run this and in, they're very friendly if you want or you're stumped you can look at the hints and pico ctf is very popular it is well known so there are um a plethora of write-ups online you can use my videos but you can also use other people's resources obviously that's fine and i always do it through the terminal right i like to use kali linux in a vm and i just run stuff through my terminal and i'll make like little directories and whatnot but if that is kind of intense that is too much you're not ready to dive into virtual machines or running kali linux or paired os or anything like that if you can see here in this right hand corner they do have their own online web show so after you log in and you create an account you can click here let's make this full screen and you do get your own web show so if i log in with my username there we go i don't know how clear that is for you guys to read let me make it nice and big but yeah, you're greeted with the pico ctf web show it's a web show intended for solving their online challenges and it does come pre-built with a bunch of tools you can see i've used this in the past when i maybe have access to my own kali linux workstation for whatever reason and i had to use the browser terminal but yeah, it comes fully equipped with different uh, tools, right? We we can see they have GDB installed. We can use that. So it's really just a Linux shell. C, cat, Etsy, OS release. Yeah, it's just Ubuntu. So if you are familiar with Linux, if not, this is not a bad way to get started and poke around and do different challenges and different commands. So this is one superb resource to access these different capture the flag jeopardy style challenges but we're not done yet another one for live events are ones that are more fun to do i would say with a team to get your homies together get some friends get some co-workers or maybe even some siblings or parents get anyone you know together that you know would be interested in doing capture the flag challenges and go to ctftime.org this is by far the best resource you can use to find these up and coming in live capture the flag events and 
Plus, I just like the overall user interface and layout of the website, I like the color scheme. Uh, I, I like it all. So they have the top teams here and you can go over here to upcoming. It's filtered for 2023, maybe all. There we go. You, you can see all the different events. I don't think any are listed yet for 2024. It might be a little bit too recent. Let's go to archive and then this top event, the ASUS CTF 2023 finals. And you can see the scoreboard. You can see the event tasks and write-ups. Okay, there's not many submitted for this one, but you can see the challenge here. And then there's also write-ups. Um, CTFtime.org does encourage and does allow you to easily add links to external write-ups. So this is pretty simple. This might not be the best showcase of uh, the functionality of this website, but I hope you guys get the gist. Let's see. Dice CTF. I know that's a pretty big name. And task and write-ups. No. Okay, 0 for 2. 0 for 2. Oh, well. You guys get the idea. CTFtime.org. They always have upcoming challenges. They always have great resources, great teams, great write-ups. And if we go back to this homepage and we're just curious, hey, who are like the top-notch people in this field, in the CTF industry, in this scene? We can click on them. Blue Water. We can go to their different website, Perfect Blue. We can see the different team members. We can see the events that they've competed in. And I'm sure there's a way to like find their different write-ups. Uh, CTS. I follow this dude on Twitter, CTS and RB Tree. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal people in the infosec scene. Very good at these low-level reverse engineering and binary exploitation and crypto kind of challenges. So, quick shout out to them. They do have like just top-notch, superb opinions and takes and write-ups and resources. So we are getting a tiny bit off track. But yeah, I'm just trying to make this video as informative and as useful as I can without making it too long. Okay, so the last and final resource I wanted to showcase in this video uh, was Try Hack Me, which is another great beginner-friendly website and resource. There's also Hack the Box, which has been a around longer than Try Hack Me. However, uh, just personal preference, I do like the user interface and the layout of Track Me just a bit more. I think everything looks a lot cleaner and a lot prettier, and I like their color scheme. But yeah, if we're over here on the Track Me's learning path, we can see the different sections they have and different um, categories, I guess, to call it, right? So if you want to be a SOC analyst, if you want to get started in REN teaming or junior penetration testing, they do have all these learning paths. They have these modules that you can break down. A vast majority of it is free, but there is a certain percentage that is um, locked behind a paywall. It's not too expensive. I believe it's $10 a month. I don't know if they've gone up since I started subscribing a few years ago. But what we're curious and what we want to focus on is their practice section. No, we don't. We want the, what do we want? We want search. So you can search, filter by free only, and whether or not you want to do a walkthrough challenge or just a capture the flag challenge is up to you. Let's filter and capture the flag. You can order by the most popular or the newest, and then you can filter through these, see different categories, if you only want the beginner ones, you can do easy. Let's hide all the completed ones I've solved. And there you go. You can see here these badges, these tags at the bottom will tell you what these machines are about. So this one is all about security, Linux, exploitation, and privilege escalation. So these are probably the classic boot to root ones, but there are some that are strictly like capture the flag and there's not like an IP address that you need to hack essentially. There are a decent number of challenges. Yeah, like this one. It wants us to download the source code and I think reverse engineer it, right? You get the idea. I don't have any pre-staged uh, challenges, so that's an error on my part. I do apologize. But try Acme overall for information security in general. It is a great resource. They have the boot to root machines and also the capture the flag ones. I seem to be struggling to find the pure Jeopardy style capture the flag ones, so that's that's on me. But that's really it. Um, I probably overwhelmed you guys with these resources, but these are just things that I've used to get started and they've really helped me throughout my career. Um, I take capture the flags. I don't say seriously. I, I think they're fun and they help me 
personally uh, get into my current position in offensive security. And it's really cool that you can kind of just put in effort into like online puzzles and events and showcase your skills and knowledge. And it does help in the real world. Like these are not just games and puzzles and like silly things to do on a weekend. You are learning at the end of the day. It is a gamified process and you are improving your skills and like there's been numerous times where in my like job I've used things that I've learned in capture the flag events. So that's really it. That's my like two cents. That's my opinion on capture the flags. Why you might want to start doing them. Uh, one final shout out for Pico CTF. They do have their upcoming competition, which is free and you guys should definitely join. Maybe we'll get it popping in the discord server and we'll just make a team and, you know, solve challenges together. That's really it. I hope this video was helpful. I'll leave links to all these resources I talked about in the description down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy and see you guys in the next video.